Hi everyone, this is Alex, Qualified Usui Reiki Master, and today's crystal tutorial is going to be on amethyst. So as you can see in the right hand side of the slide, this is a purple, um, purplishy, bluey, blacky stone, which can be um, quite transparent depending on what light you put it in. Uh, in this picture you can see it's a tumble stone, but it's mainly found as a geode or as a cluster, which is many small spiked crystals together. Um, you would usually break open this plain grey looking stone to find the geode inside and it's really quite beautiful and is often seen as decoration in houses. It's very common in the countries America, uh, different parts of Europe, Russia, Africa and India. It's highly protective and quite a spiritual stone and that's why in Reiki we use it on the third eye or the forehead chakra. Uh, sometimes it can be used on both, it really depends. But when we're just talking about the seven main chakras, um, we really talk about the third eye um, because that is the gateway to the imagination and to um, spiritual thought. This stone prevents psychic attacks and it converts negative energy into love. Often people will tell you that if you put a rose quartz next to your bed it can attract love and loving relationships. Amethyst still helps attract love but balances out the rose quartz. So that's just a hint. If you want to attract love but not be overwhelmed by it then put both of those crystals next to your bed because um, we always need balance in our lives. It's never good to have an abundance of only one thing, but of all things. Uh, it helps facilitate decision making. Um, it helps with memory, so it enhances it, and it impro improves motivation. So if you're not very um, up for doing something, even though it's got to be done, this is a great crystal to carry around with you. It increases visualization techniques, so it helps in meditation and especially in Reiki where it's obviously very important to visualize symbols and um, visualize the patient that you're working on being healed. It encourages emotional clearing, so you can uh, use it with the symbol Seihei Ki and it dissolves negative and destructive emotions. So if you've got a patient, even if their forehead chakra seems to be in balance, but they're quite emotional, you might want to place this on their third eye anyway. Um, specific areas, um, bodily areas of healing include the endocrine system, it helps clean out the organs, um, it takes away pain and dissolves stress, releases tension, um, it can also help with bruising and swelling. There are certain diseases where, um, say for example, clotting, blood clotting problems where you can bruise quite easily, it will help get rid of the bruises quicker and prevent further bruises from appearing. Um, it helps with hearing problems, it heals the lungs, the skin, the cells, anywhere in the body, and especially the GI tract. It's also great for treating insomnia. Insomnia is lack of um, a sleep pattern. And as I mentioned, of course, before, third eye or the forehead chakra when you're doing Reiki.